We'll start up as soon as uh, the tape starts. All right. OK, can you both hear me OK? Yes, sir. Yes. OK, good. All right, well, I sent this out earlier today. Today is the test. I'm going to go over it very briefly for about five or ten minutes. As always, it's due by midnight tonight. And uh, I will be online for the entire class period, available via email. And if something were to come up, I can always have a Teams meeting with uh, with anybody on an as needed basis. Tomorrow's a lab day, but I will not be available tomorrow. But if you do email me tomorrow, I will get back to you Saturday or sometime on Saturday. All right. M on Monday, we will begin Miroc Chapter 10, CSS Grid. So please try to read it before then. Again, it's probably the most difficult chapter in the book. Finally, on, on this sheet right here, your ch our Chapter 9, Written Test, Labs, and Homework, they're all due this Sunday by midnight. All right, so with all that said, this is the test. Now, let me turn first to this page, all right? Hopefully, you'll have a really good start on it. If if you either uh, listened to my lecture yesterday or downloaded the, the, uh, the GitHub repo or whatever, but let's look at it. So you've got a section here, you've got a section here, and you've got a section here. Now, this is kind of what it would look like, you know, but you can basically just throw anything in there. As it says here, develop a page to sell whatever it is you want to sell. All right, it's supposed to be a product page, so you're selling some kind of product. You figure out what you want it to be. All right, now the header, as it says there, includes a logo and a nav bar. So notice it says image logo, so I don't like the way this was done. This really should be an image if you can possibly put one in there. But that said, on the same line, again, very similar to what I did in the example I showed yesterday, have a logo and then have a lab, have this uh, nav bar. Now, these aren't going anywhere unless you want it to go down to here and go down to there. That would be kind of nice. So if that was the product area in here and this was the about area or however you want to set it up. All right. But if the other three links don't go anywhere, just have them for the location, just have it be hashtag or you can send it back to the home page. Whatever you'd rather do is totally fine. So again, in the header, the logo and the nav bar. All right. Then there's a section area. The section area is again referred to. I called mine hero. It's also sometimes referred to as a call to action. All right, type of area. And as it says there, It'll have a bigger heading, a smaller heading, so probably like an H2 and an H4 or something along those lines, and an anchor link that's styled like a button that says buy now. All right, so that's this right here. Okay. Include a featured image to the right of the text and the button. There's different ways that you can do this if you want to. If you want to do something more similar, so what I did on the example that I went over yesterday, just use a background image. That would be OK. Do not make it 100% of the view height like I did. Looking at this, it looks like about a third, a third, and a third. So make it 33 VH if you want to do that. And, and you know whatever your product is, it would be kind of nice if the picture reflected what the product is. If you do use a background image, again, like I did yesterday, Make sure you give this stuff in here a Z index, all right, so that you can actually see it so it doesn't disappear behind the image. All right. Uh, let's see, have a main. The main, as it says, will have two sections. A top section will have three divs of content. Each div will have a rounded image, a heading, and a short description. Again, very similar to what I did yesterday, all right? So you could have three pictures of the product. You could have whatever you want. All right. It would be kind of nice, even though it's shown here with all white, be kind of nice if you would separate this and maybe use a couple lighter colors that go together. I, you know, it's only five points, but you know, really about five points of this is based on the overall look and feel of this five to ten points. All right. So what else do we have in here? 
The bottom section has got a heading and four divs of content. So that's it down here. All right, so you can put a picture, a picture, a picture, some kind of a heading under each one and a little bit of text. Another heading up here. If you want to add another heading up here, you can do that. Totally fine. Again, four more images, four more um, headings and a little bit more text. All right. You may find if you use if you either use the one I did yesterday as an example or you just basically do this, it may not even take you that long to do it. I don't know. All right. Each div in this case has a square image, a heading and a paragraph. All right. Also, the footer, as it says, is not shown here. There is no footer shown here, but you are to create one. So it should have a copyright line. You know, again, this would be 2023. And then the name of your company, you want to put your own name in there. I could care less. You must use the copyright HTML entity, which is the ampersand copy. All right. Going to the next page, then. This is where most of the points are. Use CSS to responsively implement the page layout. So use, use Flexbox for all parts of the layout where necessary. Try to create this mobile first. In other words, imagine that you're creating this with the idea that it's going to be for a phone, then expand it to a tablet, then expand it to a desktop and beyond. All right, if you do that, it'll probably be a lot easier for you. OK, so these will be your breakpoints. The default is the phone and 600 for tablet portrait. If you don't like that, I would have done this. I left I left their instructions, but I would have used here like 749 is what I would have used for a tablet. For the phone, I would have basically used there's no, nothing with one pixel. So I would have probably used in there maybe 459, something like that. So 1 to 459 would be for the phone. 460 to 749 would be for a tablet. Again, if you want, just use the regular numbers that he had in there. I don't care. And for the desktop, okay, and I should, let me say that again. Okay, the default here, this is the default for, for the portrait. So that's where it should break. All right, this is where it should break here. This is where it should break there. And again, I'll remove my stuff. You can, as long as you make it break, you can make it break wherever you think it looks the best. If you want to look online and if online they go, the size for a phone should be this to this, the sign for a tablet should be this to this, et cetera, then do that, okay? You won't get any extra points for doing it, but I won't take away any points for basically you doing it the way you want it done, all right? The feature image should go above the text and the buy now on mobile and be to the right of it on the desktop. So what that is saying is, I guess they don't want you to use a background image here. All right, this should be a separate image. All right, because it's not going to work correctly, I don't believe. All right, if you use it as a background image, because again, what you're supposed to do, it says it should go above the text and the buy now. All right, on mobile. OK, so in other words, the image should be above and move this stuff below it for when you were when you were uh, setting it up for mobile. All right. And what else did it say? And be to the right of it on the desktop as shown. All right. The nav bar must appear vertical on mobile devices and horizontal on the desktop. What does that mean? OK, so uh, on the desktop like this, but when it shrinks down, you should stack it one at a time. So you'd have product and underneath that would be about and underneath that would be portfolio and underneath that would be team and underneath that would be contact. All right, let's see. The three divs in main should be in a row on a desktop and vertical in mobile. So again, these should be stacked when you get down to a smaller size. So should these. And that's what it's saying in there. Finally, make sure when you get done that you validate your index.html file and whatever you called your, your styles file. Now, it doesn't say it on here, but please set this up the way we've been doing it. In other words, have a, have a project in the project, set it up with an index.html file, create a CSS folder, and in that CSS folder, create a styles.css file. All right. 
Any questions on anything that I just went over? Anybody? All right, then I will be online. So if something does come up, feel free to email me. All right, and uh, good luck. Okay, again, I'm not going to be available tomorrow. Please read chapter 10 for Monday. Have a good weekend. I'll talk to you on Monday. You as well, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, you too.